you heard this song before? <laughs> <laughs> Frank Black rocks. Right, so we're, we're headed up. to Durrell Vineyard, which is a famous Chardonnay site in Sonoma Valley. Okay. And uh, we're gonna check out some Chardonnay for Realm Cellars. Oh. We're gonna be checking out some vines um, that are that are a couple different ages that are uh, planted to a, a really famous Chardonnay clone that is uh, has become known to be associated with the best California Chardonnays, and it's a clone called Wenty clone, and it's known for having uh, very small clusters and very small berries and uh, produces a very intense and aromatic style of Chardonnay. It's been so hot, we've been just absolutely killed with, um, with Labor Day heat spike. This is normal in, in California and in Napa Valley uh, in particular, that uh, sometime around Labor Day, we get a week to 10 days of temperatures in the triple digits and uh, we got it for sure. Today was the first day we had a little bit of relief. Right now it is 3.30. It's 80 degrees, and uh, a week ago, if you'd have asked us at 3.30 in the afternoon what temperature it was down here, it would have been about 104. So the grapes are uh, happy to have a little bit of a break from the heat, and uh, we're actually seeing sugars level off. They haven't moved in the last couple of days, so uh, winemakers are sleeping a little better, and uh, our crush help actually gets to sleep. we're looking for are brown seeds, soft skins, good flavors, and the right amount of sugar and acid. Um, in the end, we'll make the picking decision based on flavor more than anything, and uh, looking at the seeds and that sort of thing, versus uh, looking at sugar and pH. These grapes are getting close. It's starting to taste really great. The flavors are starting to pop. There's still enough acid to keep things bright. Uh, they're getting very close. We have some cool weather coming up, so we might decide to let these hang for a few more days and we'll get, uh, get a little more complexity of flavor. This is some really great marine-based soil full of diatomaceous earth. The Chardonnay is gonna taste so great. So now we're gonna, we're gonna check the sugar content in the grapes with this refractometer. What this does is it measures the solids in solution and it refracts light through them and you can see on a screen when you look through the eyepiece just what percentage of solids is there. And the solids are mainly sugar so we have a decent sense of how much sugar we have in the grapes and then we'll have a decent sense of just how much alcohol is going to be in the wine. We have 23% sugar or 23 bricks is the technical term and uh, that will make a wine with about 13.5-14% uh, alcohol depending on what yeast ends up doing the, the fermentation and uh, it's looking uh, pretty ripe uh, but we're still waiting for a few of the flavors to round out and the skins are still a little more bitter than uh, we'd like them to be so we're going to call off the pick, hold it for a few more days.